Attention, bobsled riders! You will soon be embarking on a thrilling podcast down the icy slopes of the Matterhorn. So please remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the bobsled at all times. Auf Wiedersehen! Welcome back, yodlers! We are the Matterhorn Yodlers. I am Jackie. We have... Peter. Javis. And today, we have a special guest, Father Yodler. Hello. Welcome back. Yeah. Hey, it's fun. It's been great listening to you. <laughs> so today, we're going to go back in time <laughs> and share one of our, well, we're going to call this story time with the, uh, with the Yodlers. And, uh... What story are we going to tell, Jackie? We're going to talk about the Gumball Rally. Oh, fun. And you may wonder, what is the Gumball Rally? What does gum have to do with Disney? Like, I don't, there's I no don't, gum there's, sold in Disney. Yeah, there's no gum. What's, what's, why are we talking about this? So. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Be> fa <laughs> so, Father, you're the one that brought this to our attention. Why don't you explain the gumball rally? Explain the gumball rally. So explain the rally and then why it piqued your interest. Okay, so the gumball rally is, is done by the Mice Chat uh, website. And they do that once a year generally. Maybe not during COVID. Uh, they did do it last year or this year. Yeah, I think they did it right before in February is where they moved it to because it seems to be the less populous time around Disneyland to where teams will race around trying to uh, answer ride rides in the quickest amount of time, the most rides within a certain set period of time, and they check that by how you answer questions that they provide. And it's a big, big, big thing that happens roughly when you start the uh, uh, the park when when it opens up until like seven o'clock in the evening and that's when they close down and then you meet at the hotel and see who did the best and so uh, we got started doing that as a family because some when we started going to the park a lot we, we would race each other on okay we've got a certain list of of attractions to ride let's see who can ride them the fastest picking out which ride they're going to ride uh and so on and in what order in order to get the most attractions done really during a certain period yeah that was, really it was, that was kind of inspired by like amazing race yes, yes. and i i remember when we did that and like we were like pulling on each other's clothes to prevent each other from i'm pretty sure Father Yoder whacked some lady in the face with one of his like camera bags. That's what my wife told me. I didn't notice it, but apparently I did. Denied, denied, denied. I did not notice. I was too busy rushing to the finish line. I think. <laughs> What's the statute of limitation of assault at Disney parks with camera bags? I don't know. Is it ten years? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, I do remember, like, we, Ooh, we you're saying they might be listening. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a small following. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I do remember, like, we go to the parks, because, like, we, we started going a lot more frequently, especially... Early um, 2000s. Early 2000s, and we would just come up with new ways to make the park a lot more interesting and fun. So that was one. We did a... Uh, Scotland Yard sort of game. Yes, that, one, that, that was one, a great that game. That was a great game. It was great because we had walkie-talkies at the time. This is like... Explain Scotland Yard for so, those. Who yeah, so those who don't know, Scotland Yard is a board game where one person is in London and everyone else is trying to locate where this person is, taking different routes, trying to corner the person uh, without knowing where their location so their is. Their piece isn't on the board... Um, for most of the game, it Correct. does appear occasionally, and so two to three times. And so, okay. what we would do is the person who was it. I think it was like every five or ten minutes, they would have to like send a picture to everyone to indicate where you were currently located at. And so everyone would be coordinating, and you didn't have to stay at that location. 
but everyone else was in communication with each other saying, okay, well, he could go through Frontierland once you try to cut him off there, and I'll go through fr uh, Fantasyland. You go to the train station in case he tries to jump on the train. Like, it was, like, crazy elaborate. We did, like, three or four rounds in one night. Yeah. It yes. was crazy. It was yeah. probably one of my favorite games we did at Disneyland. <laughs> So that kind of like inspired this this gumball rally where it's it was rules you're competing and I would say you're questions. competing against other super Disney fans. Oh, yeah, yes. and what, we had done this as a family, and so I what decided, hey, I'd like to do this one time where we're competing with others to see how we do because we know how we do against each other, but how would we do against other super fans? Boy, were there some super fans. There were some and snooty we'll, ones. We'll, yeah. we'll get back to that part. <laughs> uh, but so, Father Yoder came to us this idea, and we were a, a team of four. Yes. Which I had also been interested in doing because I had been following Mice Chat for a while. So I was also, as soon as you mentioned that you wanted to do that, I was like, I'm in. Sign me up. <laughs> I'm on. I'm down. Um, yeah, so it was like you could have a team of like four, four or two. two. Or three. That's yeah, or three. Two, three, four. Yeah. So we did a team of four, and you had a. It was a theme. It's themed every year. Ours was Alice in Wonderland. It was Alice in Wonderland. So you had to come up with a team name. You would have to have like matching t shirts. You didn't have to. No, no, but it was part of the fun. Yes. So what was the name that you picked out for us? Because I didn't have a clue what the name was going to be, and so explain that. Slivey Toves was the name, and that's from the famous po uh, poem in the uh, in Alice in Wonderland. Toves Brillig and the Slivey Toves did gar and gimble in the wave. Or... In the Disney version, the Cheshire Cat sings, "'Twas brillig in the slithy toes, did gar and gimble in the wave." So they're in there, but they're creatures with, like, drilling noses or whatever. And so that was our, our theme, or our mascot, the slithy toes. So how did you come down to that? Like, that went above my head. So people were like, oh, that's great. And I was like... I had no clue. I'm wearing a shirt with no clue about the reference. Like, I could have given Dad a Slayer t-shirt and Dad would be like, I don't know what this group is. I don't know what's going on. Like, that's how I felt. Like, so, I want more, like, I'm curious about this. Because, well, again, it, it, I didn't want to go with an obvious, oh, we're the Mad Hatter team. You know, Mad Hatter is so popular and so on. So I went with the... I at once had that poem totally memorized in high school or whatever, so it was easy for me to pick from that, and Slithy Toves are like the first creature in that. And so I said, well, we'll be the Slithy Toves, and probably very few people would catch on to that. Actually, there was not a lot of theming in our group. No, so not, I, not we had Alice seen, in Wonderland. We had seen no. previous uh, pictures and things where it looked like they really themed out, but our group was kind of... Uh, our, our year, it wasn't as themed. It was just random, people. random team names. I did see the the winner. I went on the website, yeah. and the winner was Olaf with her head, and there was like Olaf cutting off Alice's head. And I was like, that was good. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> and they actually show Alice's head off her body. And I was like, wow, that got dark. That was great. <laughs> Yeah, so like you were also graded on your team's name, uh, so that was a fun aspect. Of course, what JB said, we were not the winners. We didn't—I don't even think we got placed. Well, for that, they didn't really release like the rankings. The rankings for no. the team it was just the favorite. No. Um, so we, you, so for the gumball rally, you. Don't, it's a, you have to pay for your admissions into the park. It's not included into the package. And then you have to pay the registration fee also because it takes a lot of work for them to produce the packets and also have spotters around to, to watch it and everything. So there's a, an, a fee. It's not as much as the admission price to Disneyland, but it's, you know, substantial. And what <laughs> were uh, some of the rules? 
that we had to obey. Some of the I can only rules. think of the ones we broke. <laughs> no. <laughs> no cell phones. Yep. Yeah, no, no cell phones. No cell phones. phones. You could not use uh, Max Pass. No. Well, you have to use your phone in order to use that. Correct. Yeah. You could use fast passes. You could use fast passes. The paper could... fast passes. But yes. you all have to be together to get the fast pass. To get the fast pass, you can't have one. You, you always have, have to be together. Except when it came to attractions, where if someone could not ride the attraction, they would have to wait by the exit. And uh, and you could do single riders. That yes. was allowed. Yes. You could do single riders, which but everybody has to wait at the exit once you're done. So. Correct. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so we. So when you first start the gumball rally, you first meet at this uh, hotel across from Disneyland. You get all your information, and you get. Did they give us the book? No, no. the book no. was was outside of Disneyland. That's we met right. at the La Brea Bakery. Yes. That's right. We met at the La Brea Bakery, and we had one person from each team go in and grab the book. And our team leader was, of course, Father Yoder. So I don't know really what happened there. You, they have two different books so that not everybody's doing the same thing. And so you do one book and then you can switch out at a certain time. You don't have to complete the book to switch out, but you decide when you switch booklets or whatever. And, and the booklet has the questions. Yes. And of, they're in different parts of the park. It's not like all Fantasyland, all Adventureland. It's, it, they're... Dispersed, weren't they? Yes, 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 they were dispersed. However, there seemed to be a east side, west yes. side yes. for yeah. it. However, Fantasyland was in both of the Correct. books. Yeah. And this was just for Disneyland Park, yes. not California Adventure. That's correct. They decided to limit it that year just to the Disneyland Park. Yeah, I think park. prior years they had done both and So parks. I went up, and I can't remember why I decided, but I took one booklet, and then I was just following everybody else. And everybody else started saying, okay, well, we're not supposed to do, you know, certain things, but we can open up the book and look before they say go. And everybody picked up their booklets and were holding it over their head, one-handed or something, and looking at their books. And so I thought, okay, I can do that. Well, you're not supposed to do that. That was one of the rules they gave us early on, but I was a lemming, and so I... You, you actually oh, got caught... On film, on film, walking by, looking at the book, <laughs> but I had only done it because everybody else in the group was doing it. And quite frankly, I think we got eliminated from winning or being considered for because of winning <laughs> or ranking because of that. And I think a lot of other groups did too, because I certainly wasn't the only one. And that was a big thing that I was saying before. So we want to make sure we follow the rules. Whatever yes, we do, very yeah. good we want to make that. sure we follow the rules. And here I am. I broke the rules before we the start of the race, and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> I when I watching. saw that video, I said, "Oh, uh, we're doomed." <laughs> <laughs> but they, you know, they don't disqualify you. They don't let you know. They don't disqualify. let you know that you were even. We didn't even know until we uh, saw the rankings like a week later right. that we didn't even rank. Yes. <laughs> and we're like, like there's no way we, we didn't make yeah. it on the scoreboard. So, so we still got to go in there and have all the fun, which was the grand part of it yes. anyway. That was the best part of it. It was uh, the adventure together. <laughs> <laughs> but I immediately saw that, oh, a lot of these are in Tomorrowland, and that was one of my things that I wanted to do, is make sure, let's get Tomorrowland done first, because yes. it's usually a lot it's less nice. busy than in the afternoon or evening, which are jam-packed crowded. And yes. so, uh, when I saw that, I was all excited, and I thought, we're going to Tomorrowland. That's, that's that going to be our first, first step. And so we ran to the, get in line once they said go, to enter the park, we enter the park except Peter, Peter. gets stopped. And Peter Wrong can tickets. explain what okay. happened. Okay, alright, so this is what happened. So, I thought I was being smart and proactive. I bought my ticket the night before. And I even told the lady, I said, yeah, I'm buying this ticket for tomorrow. And she says, great. She sold me the ticket. Well, 
Disneyland had recently changed their rules on tickets, and so they they charge different price tickets depending on the day of the week. Well, apparently the third, I think it was like the, the competition was on Friday or something like that. I bought mine on Thursday night. Well, they the lady charged me the Thursday price ticket. And so when I went to go use my ticket, they go, oh, your ticket's not good for today. And I'm like, what? So I had to go. So everyone else was waiting at the turnstiles, waiting for me to go back to the ticket station so that I can get my ticket upgraded to an extra 10 bucks so I can enter in for that day. Oh my gosh, that was just... We lost We lost some good time. We there. lost a lot of time at the very That's start of the competition. But, 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 right but we, we may have been disqualified there too because we Peter, were separated. we were separated because we were But they did we say were that there in. were occasions where it is acceptable. And like... It, it may have been or may not. Move. I know you were concerned at that moment was. that we yes. got disqualified because we were on one side of the fence of Disneyland and you were off at a ticket booth buying a ticket. We didn't do anything to to break the rules. No. As, and as far as even looking at the and I think the, the rules and the, the the questions in advance, I don't think we gained anything no. by that. So there was no advantage. There was no advantage in anything we did. And they had made mention that like you can be separated, you just can't do anything when you are separated. Yeah. All right. And we didn't do you anything. Didn't do it. You literally sat stood right next to the ticket turnstile. Yeah. The only thing they may have done is I may have been looking at the book trying to figure out what are we doing next. Of course, Space Mountain was probably first on our list of doing. It was one of the first. Yeah. And we did um, Nemo. Nemo. I know we did Nemo, but I think no, that I think was that after. Was after. That, that was after. after. We did Space, get it out of yeah, the way. Yeah, I think we did Space first. Yeah. So, Peter comes through the ticket line. Yes. And we, we're all together now. And so we're going straight to Tomorrowland. And we did... Space, Space Mountain, Mountain first, and that was pretty simple. I think the question for that one was like, how many right turns are we there? Oh yeah, oh, yes. we all had different answers. We did. We all had different answers, and I think we just went for like an average. Yeah. And I think it was eight, nine. I think I think we had a couple of agreements or something. And that was one of the advantage of having four people. I know we kind of said at the end that we think two pe two people teams had an advantage. They, but but yes. on answers. I think four people helped out because Correct. we yes. were some of us would miss something that like somebody the Matterhorn else would one, catch. I missed completely. Like you guys spotted the Matterhorn one, I missed that one completely. I right. looked. I don't see it. I don't know what you. I think it was like what number is on this broken bobsled or something. Yes, but so we get we did Space Mountain, simple, easy. We wrote, you write down the answer in your book. It was like twenty minutes. We're out. Yeah. And so then we're like, let's go to Finding Nemo. Right. Because that line is terrible. Later on. Later on. I thought we had done Small World. No. No, no. that was later. Because I thought later. I remember talking to the group about Small World. No. No. Because no, they, they were, were like, talking about Peter Pan. The, the, oh, that, that was the second remember. time we talked to the group. Oh, okay. That was the no, second time. No, we got to the submarines and we, we talked to the snooty Tokyo Disney lady. Yes. Yes, yeah, so we... <laughs> We get in line and we notice there was someone else behind us or in front no, of us. No, they were in front of us. They, they were in they front of us. We all get lanyard, so it's easy to spot who else is doing the, the race with you. They're, yes. they're doing the race. They're on a team of two. And so we're just talking to them. This is our first time doing the race. We're just being friendly and nice. And they're asking us questions. The and husband's really nice, laid back guy. I think it was guy. a dad. Really? That was her dad. Okay. Yeah, that was her dad. Because she was so. closer to my age. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it was the dad. Yeah, and we meet this uh, other competitor, and we we were all in good sport, and th she is asking us interesting questions. Very strategic. Yes. Like she's trying to play mind games with us. <laughs> also, feeding us all sorts of information. Oh, I just walked on to Peter Pan or something like that. And like, it was like, okay. really? Well, well, you I'm never sure walk on to Peter and Pan. And we'll get back into that because it's not the first time we run into them. Um, and so they, you know, they'll ask us well, how many, how many rides have you been on? Well, and we're new. I think we had done two. I think we did like Star Buzz. Tours. We may have done Star Tours or Buzz. Yeah, it could have been. I because think... I felt like we were coming from that direction. Yeah. That we could have been. So we were, we had done like 
one or two rides. Nemo was going to be like our third ride. And she goes, oh, I've done five. Oh, yeah, she had done like two more than us. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, we've done five. We just walked on to Alice, and we're like, oh, okay. That's great. That's great. Uh, <laughs> and she's just trying to, like, one-up us. She's trying to psych us out. I was yes. like, this is, this is gay. Eh, I don't really, really care. <laughs> I'm like, I'm the least enthusiastic about this, and I'm like, your mind tricks don't work on me. <laughs> and I also remember she was Only like, money. Only money. I, and we're like, oh, it's our first time, we're just here to have fun. And she goes, oh, our first time, we got first place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like, okay. So you can do the access so like go through the past so you can see who, maybe who we're talking about. But yeah, she was, she was like, and the year before that we were like three and second, yeah. So she was definitely trying to posture herself to us like we should be bowing down. Oh our yeah, and, and she almost like was ashaming us because we hadn't been to Tokyo Disneyland yet. Yeah, she asked us how many Disney international Disney. Parks I did tell her I drove to. by it, <laughs> but that was fairly good. I mean, that's I guess me in the game, right? No, okay. So I think that was kind of like our first taste of true Disney adult snobs. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I thought we were bad. <laughs> no, we're subtle. Oh, okay. We're subtle. I think her, I think it was all strategic on her point. She was in the game to win, and she was going to do any. Anything mind game wise in order to, to, to do it. Yeah, so we get through the ride and we're we're joking around with the question. Like we find out the answer and I remember we we're like, shout out the wrong answer. <laughs> so <laughs> we shout out the wrong answer just to have fun and you know, they know the real answer, but we're just having a good time. Yeah, we were kind of feed into this, like... Yeah. We're, we're really playing hard. We're going to trick you. Yeah, we we were totally just goofing with them. That was for sure. I and, remember that. And it was funny because at the end of the race, I was looking for them, like... But they weren't there. Well, I think they came up with a problem that most people did on this particular day. There was an attraction that went down that hurt a lot of people. And yes. they may have gone home. Because if they got caught on that attraction, they were stuck there for possibly the over an hour. During, an hour. during the day, the railroad went down. went down for multiple hours. And there were like three questions associated with the railroad. So there were lots of... In reasons for people to be on the railroad. I mean, we heard teams were stuck on the railroad for, like, a good 40 minutes. We waited for 30 minutes at Tomorrowland. Waiting for the train, train. With, because there was no cast member there to no. tell us that there was something wrong. Right. And so we waited there, and we're like, we, we're just going to go. Like, yeah. this was way too long. There's no way. Yeah. And little did we know, yeah, it was down for like an hour or something. And it was long. I thought it was like on, an hour and a half because I were, think they were caught was, on the train. I think there was somebody had like a stroke. Yeah, there was a medical emergency that day, and people. But it never it never started again. The railroad no. never never went Those up again. Were gone and eliminated. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to, after that, we go to... Uh, I think we did Small World next. Small World was the next big part because of our Small adventure. Small World, and we, we got through Small World pretty quick. And that's because it's like the line just opened up. We knew when it opened, and we got there right at the perfect time. I think, it, you know, we were on the ride within 10 minutes. Right, and so... There was a lot of those cases. Yes. We, 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 were were, right. we had... Very good luck with. We a got lot that of these with rides. Small World. I remember Matterhorn. Matterhorn, Matterhorn, Thunder Mountain. Things were closing, and then we would walk up, and they were opening right there. It was just perfect. And I remember it was disqualified. <laughs> and, and I remember the Columbia ship. You guys didn't want to do it. I said, if it gets here at a certain time, we'll have just enough time. And we rode the Columbia ship I we right, right at the right time. Yes. And, and we got to do get that one checked off our list. And then as soon as we got off that, that's when we got on the Thunder. Like, it had just opened up. Right. Because it had been, like, two, down. three hours. Yeah, it was down for most We of had time. some great... I don't think the stars would ever align for us like that again. That, we, we had we some were good, lucky good on luck. Some good attractions. Uh, but during the middle of the day, uh, you had to meet... Uh, this was before Star Wars Galaxy Edge had opened... And we had to meet at one of the entrances. 
for it, yeah. For it to behind to do a group picture, lane. and you got like a bonus like ten points. So if you want to see us in the picture, you go to Mice Chat, and you go to the Gumball Rally. Or twenty. We're on the right. Twenty eighteen. Was it 18? 2018. 2018. And you go and you look at the picture. We're on the far right, but we're on the front. So you'll see. Blue and, blue and there. white shirt. Blue and white shirt. Yep. Yeah, so we meet. We're waiting to get this picture done. We'll try to post that on Instagram. Yeah, we'll, I'll post it on Instagram for you guys. Uh, but yeah, we meet. And we run into the first couple yes. that we met at Finding Nemo. And we're like just talking in good sport to like, oh, how are you doing? You know, and just talking about like, yeah, we've been lucky on some rides. We got Small World at a really good time. And I think that when we told them we got on Small World, they had this face of, like, we haven't even done Small World. Because the line what, what became humongous. When we came off of Small World, the line was just It forever. was probably a good 45-minute wait. It we had just weird. peed in their Cheerios, and they were like, oh, <laughs> this sucks. And then, this is my favorite line that she told us. We got Peter Pan at seven minutes. I, roll, uh, I wanted to roll my eyes <laughs> inside and call BS. <laughs> it's not even seven minutes when the park opens up. Like, you can be the first person, you're still waiting because there's somebody who's there before you. I don't know where they come out, but they're there. I was like, Peter Pan in seven minutes. I don't believe it. So you the clap. <laughs> so at that point we're like, oh, okay, they're threatened by us, so that that felt good. <laughs> well, well, we had done some prep work before the race that I don't think the other racers didn't do. We had arrived at the park earlier that week, and I had spent that time timing all the rides and knowing how long the lines were. How long they fast? How, how fast they move? What, well, during different times of the day, and if you were in a certain part of the line in fantasy land, like where you can see the line, you time how long you have left at certain points of the line. So I had a lot of information in my head to where I knew where to be when, and so on. Like Peter Pan, middle of the day. Lunchtime. Lunchtime, it's good because the sun's beating right down oh, on that line and that. nobody wants to stand in that line because it's one of the worst lines and it's one of the best lines. And that's where we went after this meet, meeting time. Yes. We went straight there. We met, I think, the second place winners. They were so in that nice. line. Oh. They were the nicest we people. Them. They shared M&Ms with us and they were just really nice. Just having a good time. And I was you really guys happy to see them get second. Those <laughs> like, boy, it's just like they went right through me. Are you, are you sure they were that nice? Can't speak more highly about that team and, and how great. good I felt that they got second place. Oh, it. they yeah. were so nice. And it just you, it made us feel better about the other competitors. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the only teams that we would really interacted with was that one snooty girl. That was uh, our, and, like, and her nice negative. father. And her nice father. Her father was Her father was very nice. Guys. Uh, but yeah, the race goes on. Um, we're going through rides. We're stressing out we were. when it got to like... Because we had to be back at 6? Six? 6 or 7, somewhere in there. It yeah. was like 6. So it was about like, I would say, 4 o'clock was when we were all stressing out of like... We need to make decisions of what to do because we're oh, not going to yeah. get everything We were gaming. Done. It was like survivor mode where yeah, you're like, we... you're running like scenarios in your head. So you have four people together on the Columbia and we're just like zombies because we're like, you do this and this and what about this strategy? And we're all trying, and that's harder with four people to get us to decide on what to do. There was definitely some frustrations. Ar I know I was, I was definitely fighting for a certain point of view, which I've, I've let go, but I know I was, I was... Uh, oh, really? <laughs> I don't know, but it's like, I think I was... Oh, I could definitely see that there were stress levels uh -huh. going on. Was I more loosey-goosey? Yeah. Like, I kind of wanted the flow. Sometimes not. Okay. Sometimes you... I know, I know me and you... Yes, we were we, the... We, we, we would butt heads a little bit. Yes, we would. <laughs> I kind of knew, like, it was, I think the big one that I was fighting you against was the Columbia. Yeah, you did not want to do uh -huh. it, and I said, if we go by there, and it's at this 
point, we should go on it, and and we did. I think it was you were right. I think it was the right. It decision. really worked out. It helped with Thunder Mountain opening. Yes, because then it's like okay, because there were a lot of right away. Because I think there were a lot of teams waiting just in front of Big Thunder Mountain, waiting for that to open while we were able to ride the Columbia, and as soon as we got off. They were literally letting people on. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right before we got in Columbia, I remember I was like, Thunder Mountain is going to open up soon because they were running the train. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, it's going to open up soon. And we're like, do we wait? Do we do Columbia? And so we went on Columbia and we were lucky. We was one of the lucky rides. And right when we got off, Thunder Mountain had just opened up. I think we had fast passes for it, so we were able to get... In there real it was quick. Quicker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, stress points went on. We're getting stronger. And as you, you also had. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about your your ankle. Oh. Let's talk about your ankle because I was like, <laughs> never like you. You pushed hard. So, for those who don't know, I have a big leg. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. I have a bad foot. And it's a forever bad foot, unfortunately. But, um, you know, for long distance, and it can hurt. Um, and, of course, during this race, I was wearing a brace and whatnot. Uh, but as stress increased and time was running out, I pushed that pain aside and was booking it. You were. That's amazing what adrenaline can do for the body. <laughs> you did amazingly well on that. Yes. I, I, could, I wouldn't be able to tell that there was an issue with your ankle based off of how well you were moving during that. Trip. I could tell. And I was like, shoot, pushing. So props to you, Jackie. You, you pushed it. Um, you, didn't, you weren't the weakest link of the group. That was probably me because I had bathroom issues. I, I'm getting older, so I needed to make bathroom oh, stops more and often. That, that also brings up a good point. At the beginning of the race, there was like they would ask us questions. They're like, "How many bathroom breaks will you take?" And some teams are like, "We're not taking any bathroom like, breaks." I've got a catheter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a space diaper. <laughs> like, okay, people, <laughs> go into the bathroom, <laughs> and we're like. If we need to go, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna eat some food. Okay. Like, oh yeah. Are you gonna eat food? And like we never and sat down and ate food. We, what we did was we got food when we were waiting for the picture. Yes, we yes. did. We did get the a pretzel or something to keep. I got us a pretzel, going. and that was probably the worst decision because I was trying to like scarf down this pretzel <laughs> with with no water. And I'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> with like all this bread in my mouth I'm like dying I'm like oh, oh, I'm like having a hard time swallow and like oh I wish I went with like a churro or something because like that pretzel like although probably better for my stomach in terms of filling me up um but we we, we was had definitely trail mix piece. and granola bars yes. that we normally we take snacks. with us and we had our water bottles we did so we had bags that we took with us to be prepared because this is what we normally do to kind of avoid like the traps of buying six seven eight dollar churros yes. and pretzels all the time yeah so let's go down to the last hour of the race that was intense that was very crazy we were the last ride we rode was alice alice, alice in wonderland we had twice. to write it twice one in each book there was a questions about it because it was themed on alice in wonderland so you'll probably see a picture of us riding the Alice in Wonderland during the day, but uh, the last ride we rode was Alice in Wonderland. And the line was long. Yes. But... We knew exactly how long it was going to take us. Be prior to the race, I mean, personally, I think I rode Alice in Wonderland at least five or six times earlier that week to time it of where you are in the line and how long it would take. So, the last hour, the line looks long. It's intimidating. And there were other teams in the line that were ahead of us. And they were thinking of abandoning it because they didn't think they had enough time to write it before they had to be so back. So, when we got into the line, we knew it was going to take us 20 minutes to get through the line. And, we, and keep in mind, we had like... 30 minutes left. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before, because, like, I think they, they penalize us if you're, like, 
every like minute they take off a point. So right, and we ran from like Haunted Mansion to Alice in Wonderland yeah. to ride that one specifically because we knew how much time we had. We knew that it was going to be in the book and points, and we could get through it. Yeah, I think it was between Alice and Indiana Jones. Yeah. yeah. No, we did in the oh, did we? Yes, we did. Because okay. I remember the question. There's so many snakes from yeah, the door. on the door that he's holding. Gotcha. Sorry. So those are the questions. Like, I think his candles are on the the casket, and and the and it may the have been Jungle mansion, Cruise. You know? Oh, I think you're right. Because I don't it think we jungle. did Jungle Cruise. So yeah. we get in line. It's tw you know we get in line. We're we're guessing it's going to be 20 minutes to get in. There's about that's five minute gap to getting from out of Alice. To the La Brea Bakery. Bakery, and the team that was in front of us, they were a sec those the second place team that we had spoken to earlier. I know, I thought no, it was no, a different, it was a different group, team. But oh, they, they actually placed. placed. They were like yes. fifth, and they were actually a group of three. Everybody else was like a group of two. Yeah, mm -hmm. all the winners. Were That's right, two. and they were concerned. They were gonna jump out, and we're like, "No, you're good. We have this time. You're fine." Because they fine. were like two rows ahead of us in the switchbacks, and we said, "You're good. Stay. You're good. So, stay." And that was our good Samaritan moment because <laughs> they placed. They did place. They placed, and, and they, they stayed. They told us how many points they had, or how many questions answered, and I. We were what similar. Said, we were close, but I think we had more answers. I think we did. And I think we would have placed. I think we would have That's what I was too. excited. I felt when really I good them. about it. When I saw her. them place, I was like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> we're going to get a ribbon. We did not. We did not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we get through Alice, and I think we have like 10 minutes to get to the bakery mm -hmm. on over where next to California Adventure. We're booking it. I'm stressing out, but... This is probably one of the rules I felt like I helped break. I felt like I was running, which that was one of the rules that you're not to run. We were speed me, walking. We were like... We were doing some crazy maneuver. Me and you were like zigzagging. Zigzagging through gas. I was like, watching. I was like, you guys just going to take it easy right there. <laughs> It'll open up. We're like hopping, like <laughs> side steps and like <laughs> slipping in between people. We, and were, like, we were stressing out. Um, but we get through the race, we get, we arrive on time. We did. We made it. I think there was like five, five minutes. minutes left. Yeah, we had enough time to take pictures of the, 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 book. the book so that we'd have that in a future reference and so on. So yes. there was enough time. We had like 10 minutes to get down there. And, it took us like, we were good. Yeah. yeah, it was quick. And from that point, we head off to the hotel. Yes. No, we had dinner first. Oh, that's yeah. right, dinner. Oh, yes, we went, because there was a break between, because they, oh, yeah. they had to calculate the points and once we turned in the books. So we decided to go to Earl's Sandwich, yep. and I remember sitting down and being so exhausted. It, was, it hits you. And we sat with another team, and I remember they were talking to, and they were kind of like, wow, that was a good idea when I told them that. Well, we've been here all week timing things out, so we knew how to do it. And they thought, whoa, yeah, that was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we took it serious. You know, we didn't like, oh, you know. Because just... I, I don't think we expected to do it again. It was kind of like our one shot all together. Yeah, when, were, when were we as a family ever going to get together? It's not like we're going to start a part podcast or anything. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I was, and when you guys brought this up to me, I was like, I really can't go to Disneyland. Like, I think if it was 2018, I was getting ready for another trip, and I really couldn't afford. Yeah, you came in a just trip. for the you event. just came I for one in. day. Did pay for the ticket and then I flew out the next day did. to go back home because I just like I wasn't gonna be there very long. So yeah. you guys had an extended trip while I was like I was in and out just for this event. That was that was a long vacation for me because not only did I do I did four days at Disneyland, we did a day at Legoland, and then we did a day at SeaWorld and a day at the San Diego Zoo. That was a long vacation. And you had a six month old. With you. Right, because yes. you did that before the Disneyland part. Disneyland was the end of your trip, I believe. No, it's the start. Oh, it was the start. I believe okay. it was the start. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so we we have lunch. Or we digress. We no, dinner. we got to go dinner. dinner. You're right. It was the end. I was thinking of the other time we did. <laughs> so I think, cause we were at the park timing things, and you were still in southern, yeah. more southern California. Yeah. So we were at Earl's Sandwich. We're having dinner, 
And Delicious. It was so good. Yes. We miss Earl. We love Earl. Mm. We're a big Earl supporter. Um, then we slowly walk over to the hotel because that was a long walk. <laughs> it was. Very long. Because we were in pain. Because <laughs> our bodies well, were catching up. You were really in pain. <laughs> yes. I was. The pain was catching up to me. I was numb, I think, at that point. I was numb. But we get to the hotel. We're waiting. We're vegging. We're just and like, waiting. Uh, it is we're waiting. It was probably like two hours, the closing ceremony. It was like going to church. I just wanted to go to sleep. Or leave. That's how I felt while this closing <laughs> event. I was just like, I felt like I was my teenage self, and I was like, where's the pew in front of me to put my head on so I can go to sleep? Because I was not having fun during those closing events. No. It wasn't the closing really event was not very fun, especially when you didn't play. Of course, we didn't know that didn't at that know. point. We didn't know for we like didn't another know week. Another week or so when we realized that a lot of teams didn't play. Uh, the one lady we had talked to about earlier didn't even come to the clothing ceremonies. I suspect she got trapped on the, on the train. train because most of, a lot of those people I understand just lot. gave up at that point because they'd lost over an hour on it. And they're probably locals that are like, I'm going home. Right. Is it, this is not my year. I, mean, I suppose if you've won first place and third place, then, then it, it's not as important to finish the race. <laughs> Or go to the closing ceremony. Yeah, or go to the closing ceremony. I'd skip the closing ceremony. <laughs> yeah, I think if we did it again, I don't know if we would go to the closing ceremony. It depends on how well you felt you yeah. did. Yeah. I feel, I mean... I thought we had placed really I well. I thought we did really good. And you, even though it's an imaginary win in my mind, we, we won what we set out to do, other than the fact that we don't know how we rank compared to other people. I thought we had a game that we couldn't have done better than what we did. And I think that kind of deters us from, like, really doing it again. I'd do it again. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Like, as a group of four? Yeah. I don't know about a four. I do two. You're like, I don't want to lose. I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> I do two. I yeah. do two. Well, I, I kind of said that, well, if we did it again, we probably need to do it as separates, you know, like with husbands and wives doing it as teams. Yeah. So we're competing against each other so that I don't want to end my trip with a divorce. So we, could, <laughs> <laughs> so we could at least compare notices with each other or something, you know, and say, well, I did better than you. I got these many done. Or I can see that being fun now with us coupling off. Just dump yeah. the kids off somewhere else. and then Forget <laughs> the kids. Uh. <laughs> this coming from the person who has no kids. Uh, yeah, I, I, was <laughs> like, I was thinking, I, was like, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think, you know, we'll go one by one. J. Fifth, would you do it again? Um, I don't think so. I mean, if it was, if everyone in the family is going to do it and we're going to couple off, then maybe. I don't want to be the party pooper, but I I thought the experience was fun. The first time we, as as Father Yodler said, we, the stars align, and it it's one of those things when you do so well the first time, you do the second time, I feel I like get so mad and frustrated and it'll ruin the experience to where I won't enjoy it again. Um, yeah. Peter? I would. I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily say, like, I want to do it every single year. It'd yeah. be, like, one of those things, like, I'd be down to do every, like, five years, you know, just to, like, shake things up. Because, you know, if you go to Disneyland enough, like, I love Disneyland as much as anyone else. But you go to Disneyland enough, like, you kind of get into that run of, like, okay, we're doing this now, we're doing this now. And so it's fun to do something new to kind of shake things up. Come up with, like, oh, who... What is the most effective way to get from place to place to place? That was like, fun about it, was the planning. I can yeah. see you in the future going with, with your sons. I think Casey that. would love to do it, especially now. Yes. Like, I think back, uh, my wife, um, when we first got married, I kind of took over the planning of how our Disneyland trips went. Now, whenever we go, she, she does it all. Like, she's all like, she handles all the planning. Like, it's become a part of her experience of enjoying herself is planning out everything. That's cool. So yeah. uh, I think she'd really enjoy doing it sometime in the future. That'd be a cool anniversary thing. Father Yelder? I would do it again. I, I do have some reservations. It was a lot harder 
than even you would think it would be. There yes. was more it was stress a challenges. Hard race, and if you cannot handle stress, I would not recommend it. <laughs> Your wheels are spinning. Yeah, I, I don't know that without you three that I would have caught half of those answers while you ride through the I ride. Agree. Uh, and so I would be hesitant to do it without you. But would I consider doing it again? Yes, I would consider doing it again. My favorite part of doing the whole thing, though, was the four of us being together. And I can remember we we created a snake line where we were actually hanging on to each other's yes. backpacks or something in order yeah. to not separate so that we couldn't be told that you know we were disqualified and that was the funnest part is here i am i'm the tail of the snake because they're dragging <laughs> my three younger children are dragging me along and i was just loving the fact that i was with my three children yep. working together on on this race together and that was the highlight it really was for me uh i probably would not do the official gumball rally race just physically, I don't think I would be able to keep up like I did beforehand. Um, You've just had a couple of surgeries since then. Yeah, <laughs> I've had some surgeries, and it's it's not improving with my. Do the scooter race through the park? <laughs> yeah, I could do the scooter race. You, you could just you, compete you with mom. You can't compete with wheelchairs, and so you know you just have to. Uh, you can't get, take any shortcuts like wheelchair advantage shortcuts but going from from one end of the park to the other you can use a wheelchair to get there right. not a motorized one uh <laughs> yeah but i think it would be fun if like our entire family went to the park and we did a, a game like we had discussed before that we used to do where it's just between the family and it's just fun competition. Well, again, it could be different with with the uh, with with the wives and husbands yes. involved in in doing that as kind of a a family reunion type uh, cutthroat activity. We love a good game. We, we do. do. We are good. We are gamers. So, um, so that brings us to the end of our story of. If, uh, Competing in the gumball rally. We didn't race. talk about gum once. I feel deceived. <laughs> well, the, 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 the only time you really see the gum is in the awards because they use gumball machines that are decorated in various ways. They're they are very, very elaborate, well and I'm and they look very beautiful. But I'm glad we didn't win one of them because they what tacky. would I do with this huge it gumball? They were they, it's beautiful, but. Well, in my like small them? house, no, what I, do I thought they were tacky looking. Oh, there were some nice ones. I liked them. Yeah, there were they some were nice pretty. ones. But that brings us to the end of our experience at the Gumball Rally. Thank you for joining us. We will be posting our pictures of the race on our social medias. You can follow us on Facebook and Matterhorn Yodler's page, also on Instagram. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, or if you're interested, um, it is through Mike's chat, so, you know, go ahead and follow them, look up, you know, I don't know when they'll do the next race because of COVID, uh, but uh, you can look into past races, see if you can find us in 2018, we were the slimy toes, but uh, if you have any questions, email us at matterhornyodlers at gmail.com and we're also on YouTube. Maybe they'll do one in downtown Disney this year if the park <laughs> isn't open. How many parking spaces are in this place? <laughs> that would be interesting. But that brings us, uh, our time is up. So thanks for joining us and have a great day. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of the Matterhorn Yodelers. Please remember, before your bobsled comes to a complete stop, to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And remember... Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. <laughs>